Okay, let's check out 47 through 50 from the June 2015 Regents exam. These videos were produced by New York Chem Coach. The website is www.nychemcoach.com. Check out more videos and more information. Keep working hard. Good luck with all your studies, and let's check out these questions. All right, for 47, we're given an organic compound, and you see that we have a branch here that's boxed, and you ask the name given for the group. Well, you got two carbons, so you need the prefix for two carbons. If you have, don't have it memorized, here it is. Two carbons is the eth, so it's an ethyl group. So I'm going to call it a definition, or yeah, I guess you could call it a skill, just knowing how to use the reference tables. For 48, you're given a particle diagram. Don't let the fancy words fool you. It's basically just symbols representing atoms, or if their atoms are touching, then you have a molecule, and you're asked which type of matter is represented by the particle diagram. Well, since I have two different elements right here in the boxes, that's the definition, of course, for a compound. And I only see one and one, so it's not a mixture, it's just a compound. So, of course, you have to know your definitions, and of course, the skill is how to represent these things using circles and dots, etc. Alright, 49, which substance is an electrolyte? Well, you need to know the definition for an electrolyte, right, that produces ions in solution, that can conduct electricity, and there's three categories. That's a fact, and they are salts, acids, and bases. So, let's take a look. O2 is an element, so is Xe. C3H8 is organic compound. There it is, KNO3, my salt. Finally, question 50. Which type of organic reaction produces both water and carbon dioxide? Well, you need to know the definitions and the facts about each of these organic reactions. And sure enough, if you did, you would know it's combustion. So memorize those facts, know those definitions, work on those skills, and good luck. Check out, again, more on nychemcoach.com.